Claremont, Winter Garden, and Kissimmee all getting hit with the ice balls. Even guests at Disney's Animal Kingdom were not spared. The National Weather Service says some of that hail was the size of baseballs. And Fox 35 News has live team coverage tonight. Ray Vieta has a look at the wild videos from across the area. But we begin with Marie Edinger live in Lake County. So Marie, what sort of damage are you seeing out there tonight? Truth, I mean, you can see it behind me, and this is just one of the trees down through Lake County. This is in Groveland, and you can see this was a massive one. Look at those roots, at the thick branches coming down through. And across the street, you'll notice all of those cones blocking the road. That's because of a huge hole that the city was caused by the wind. And we talked with several people who told us they have damage to their homes as well. I was praying. <laughs> I've been through nine hurricanes. I lived out here my whole life. Never seen anything like this. It looks like snow in Florida in April. But it's hail, golf ball sized. That actually turned out to be a blessing because the National Weather Service was originally predicting things would be worse than that. I got the alert for a severe, you know, thunderstorm. And then maybe 10 minutes later, um, there was another alert saying that there was going to be baseball sized hail and to take immediate shelter. The golf ball sized ice cubes were more than enough to damage homes and cars, though. The hail came through the screens knocked out probably 80 percent of them we've got a little back shed with concrete concrete block house it took out one of the windows in there the wind and rain were forceful too our neighbors um trampoline went flying up in the air the wind it was going sideways my pool area is normally doesn't flood even during hurricanes this time it did just about it almost came in the house hugh watson says he was sitting in his truck when the storm rolled through the wind picked it up and moved it over about two feet to the right i thought it was going to flip over i really did the city of groveland says its firefighters had to rescue some animals as well we'll be talking more about that tonight at 11. live in groveland marie edinger fox 35 news thanks marie and our live team coverage continues with fox 35 storm team meteorologist ian cassette and ian these storms covered a lot of ground today and more could be on the way tomorrow yeah that's the concern we don't want to tell you that they'll be back but we have an opportunity for more storms tomorrow and when you look at the atmosphere there's no reason to think that we couldn't see more large hail for tomorrow now you can see the reports that's all those symbols on the radar there is no more storms for the day in fact our radar is completely quiet but it was not quiet around four o'clock today where we had that one supercell that is a very powerful storm that dropped large hail from mascot to claremont and then down to the south right through animal kingdom lake buena vista uh, it was a big afternoon a big storm for this uh, for this area this time of the year when we talk about do we usually see hail this large uh, this is the time of the year where we typically do see hail because of the fact we still have that cooler air aloft, which is what we had, allowing for those hailstones to form. But tomorrow, we have a potential even a higher risk of severe weather, an impact day in effect for tomorrow with heavy rain, lightning, strong wind gusts, and hail. And we could even see maybe better coverage than today about those storms as those storms will develop in the afternoon, starting out the day quiet in the morning, but similar to today, they'll pick up in the afternoon right along the sea breeze, and we're going to be watching watching for those th thunderstorms that will be across our area. So we have an impact day for tomorrow. I'm going to break down those storm chances for us and more on a very wet weather pattern. We have more rain expected through the end of the week. Ian, thank you. Our team coverage continues now all afternoon and evening. Viewers just like you sent us incredible videos showing us the scope of this storm. And Fox 35 anchor Ray Vieta shows us some of the best videos that we found this evening. And Ray, there were, quite frankly, a lot to choose from. Yeah, John, we got all sorts of videos capturing tonight's wild storm. But let's show you how it all started. Viewer Christina Shaver caught an early portion of the storm when huge hailstones started falling. It's like someone started emptying out an ice tray over Claremont. Golf ball sized pieces of hail started raining down on her property. You can see them skipping off her front walkway. Next, after a bit, all that hail really piled high. Look at the view from out front of Donna Jandak's house, also in Claremont. It looks like snow, but that's all ice stacked around a foot deep. The storm wasn't done and moved into Osceola County. Not even Disney's Animal Kingdom was safe. You can see if you look closely, the zebras and giraffes, they're taking cover under some trees. Hail is still falling at this point because you can hear ice hitting the walls of Steve Simpkins' hotel. The ground all around the animals completely soaked and muddy. Thankfully,
Thankfully, we haven't heard of anyone being hurt from any of the bigger pieces of falling ice. Don't forget, you can email us your video at fox35news at fox.com. Live in the Alert Center, I'm Ray Vieta. Lou, back to you. Ray, thank you. The animals had to be like, where am I right now? This is like snowing. I am not in, you know, Antarctica. Well, you can track any storms with the Fox 35 Storm Team Weather app. It will send out watches and warnings in your area right to your phone. Be sure to turn on your notifications and it will alert you anytime there's a chance of severe weather.